Black Suicide Fantasy Football, <clears throat> or half of a voice of Suicide Fantasy Football, coming to you with week five, who you need to add, who you need to sit, and who you need to just cut, bait, get rid of. Quarter of the way done the season, can't believe it, seems like preseason just got underway. Week five, this is kind of where you know whether you're going to make it or not, you, you got your you first start of the season. Week. No, I said this is how you, you win your league by making the draft, but uh. you know now how your season's... Foreman, you know, if you're one and three, you better make some moves right now. Cut bait, make your moves, and go through, or you're going to be wishing you made the playoffs. All right, starting out with quarterback, Jim, and I'll give mine first. And I know you don't agree with me, but my ad at quarterback is Matt Hasselback. And I think he's just going to put up good numbers if you need a guy to fill in for a week or two. That's for, it. For a 16 team leg, maybe, Matt Hasselback. I awesome. like Matt Hasselback. You were into Jake Locker, and you'd still have him on your bench, and you wouldn't pick up. Matt I, I, I told you I cut Jake Locker three weeks You're ago. You're an old person hater. No, I'm not an old person hater. I'll tell you who, and speaking of old person hater, okay. I want to pick up the oldest rookie in the NFL, Brandon Whedon. Over 300 yards the past two weeks. His team's bad. They're throwing the ball. Brandon Whedon is absolutely a pickup to, for you to There's run There's the difference. Right you could confidently start Matt Hasselback. Hey, you could never confidently start Brandon Whedon. You I'd never start know Brandon what you did. I'd start Brandon Whedon this week against the New York Giants in a minute over Matt Hasselback. Against the Vikings. I even even when Matt Hasselback was really a, a good player, he wasn't a good fantasy football player. All right, next, Jim, who are you sitting this week? I'm sitting Russell Wilson. Uh, I'm not a big Russell Wilson fan. I don't know if I'm even really cutting Russell Wilson. But I'm sitting them, I'm sitting them. And before I go there, I want to give you my deep sleeper pickup. Okay. Matt Flynn. If you're in a league like where that. you're allowed to have three quarterbacks, you're allowed to have a bench, you don't have limitations on your roster, Matt Flynn might be a pickup now because he's going to be the starter by week six. I like your Matt Flynn call. I am sitting this week. Fitzpatrick going against the stingy Niners defense, I think. He's going to have trouble because they know they can't run the ball, and he's not going to be able to throw the ball either. So if you've got him, sit Fitzpatrick. Now my drop, Jim, Russell Wilson. I'm already done with him. I'm already saying drop him. A, he's not going to be the starter, and B, he's never going to be a competent fantasy quarterback this agree, year. Agree, agree. I'm dropping Mark Sanchez. I dropped him last if, week. If at you the got week him, before. if you got Pick him, him up, you might him. want him. But, uh, you know, if you didn't drop him already, if you still have him, you can see what happened. It was San Fran, but they have no confidence. It's gone. Not you might want to. No, I'm not picking up Tebow. You might wind up picking up Sanchez four weeks later if he comes back. But right now, he's dead weight on your roster. Nah, who's going to be throwing to? Yeah. So I'm with you, Jim. I like all your picks this week. Tell us what you think, Jim at SuicideFantasySports.com, Eric at SuicideFantasySports.com. Subscribe to our videos below. Comment. We'll reply back. And each week, we're going to come back and tell you what you need to do going into your waiver wire just for that week. Check out SuicideFantasyFootball.com, too. It's the ultimate way to play fantasy football.